With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. So guys, so here in this question it is given that figure shows uh, two circular rings of the radius uh, A and B. So joined together by wire of a uh, negligible resistance if the arrangement is uh, placed in a time varying magnetic field that means db divided by dt is equals to k and uh, if the resistance uh, per unit length of the wire is uh, represented with the lambda then induced current is so here we need to find out the value of the induced current so as i said in this question there are uh, two circular rings of the radius uh, a and b so the smaller circular uh, radius is b and bigger circular circle radius is represented with the a so this is uh, placed in a magnetic field actually time varying mag magnetic field so which is represented as uh, db divided by dt is equals to k okay and uh, the resistance per unit length of the wire uh, is represented with the uh, lambda so according to that in order to find out the induced current value e is equals to d pi divided by dt okay so here pi value is nothing but b into a okay magnetic field uh, into the area so e1 e1 is equals to db divided by dt into pi a square so that will be equals to pi a square as we know db divided by dt value we have as a k so into k this is the value of the even so e2 value can be written as e2 will be equals to db divided by dt into pi b square so that will be equals to pi b square into k okay so the resistance value can be written as r value resistance is equals to 2 pi a plus 2 pi b 2 pi a into 2 uh, sorry 2 pi a plus 2 pi b into lambda okay so this is the resistance per unit length of the wire lambda is nothing but so net emf value will be e net will be equals to em e1 minus e2 so when we subtract the emf from the uh, first circle to the second circle so we will write uh, pi into k of uh, a square minus b square so this is the value of uh, net emf and the current value i will be equals to net emf uh, value divided by resistance value capital r so we have the net emf value as uh, pi k into a square minus b square so that will be divided by resistance value is uh, 2 pi uh, 2 pi of uh, a plus b into lambda okay so we will get the current value as uh, k into a minus b divided by 2 into lambda okay so this is the value of the current uh, i so according to our obtained solution out of this four options if you look into the option a k of i minus b divided by 2 lambda so according to our obtained solution option a is the correct answer for this question thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today